this is Eva, and you are watching Israeli startup channel Is Up. So today, Outbrain is up. So we're with the co-founder of Outbrain, Ori Lahav, and uh, the managing director of Asia Market, uh, H and the Line. So uh, thank you so much for in that inviting me to Outbrain. My pleasure. Uh -huh. So wow, it's really nice to be here. I see like really creative atmosphere in uh, inside Outbrain. So um, can you please explain us why you named Outbrain? The there are a few stories, but we'll use one of them. Um, when um, when they started the company, the founders uh, they thought of a way. There was a lot of content to read, um, and you could never find out what's what to do first, what to read first, and the idea was how can we outsource our brain um, to someone else to decide for us what to read because there is so much to read. Um, so outsource the brain, out brain. Wow. That, that's, what, that's one story. Uh -huh. <laughs> there are a few more, but let's stay with, with this one. Yeah. Well, can you specify what really Outbrain does? Yeah, so uh, Outbrain is trying to meet the, uh, the readers of content all around uh, the web and uh, they're at the point when they are reading content we try to uh, we try to bring them more interesting content so indulging the readers that's our uh, that's our goal uh -huh. so what what is the problem that you saw in the market that really needs uh, how to outsource what you really need to read and everything. So, you finish, a, you, you read an article, you finish reading an article, or a blog post, or whatever it is, mm -hmm. and you're in a dead end. Now what's next? I mean, in, in a newspaper it's easy, you turn the page and someone, an editor, chose what to read next. In online it's, you know, you finish reading an article, now the question is what's next? And, and here we have the ability to personalize these recommendations to the readers, and find out for them, discover for them what's next to read. And that's, that's the problem we're trying to solve. Um, in the past, before Outbrain started, it was always around contextuals. You read about some topic, uh, a news story, and you got more recommendations on the same story or the same topic. But it's not, it's not interesting. It's related, it's not interesting. Uh, and we tried to solve that by finding interesting pieces of content to recommend to every reader that comes to that page. And we do it across uh, over 100,000 sites. So we serve over 130 billion recommendations every month. So it's in large scale uh, using all that data to serve uh, good recommendations, interesting recommendations to the readers. Mm -hmm. I think the other problem that uh, our brain came into solving is, um, is actually pages monetization and uh, and uh, advertising. The advertising model is basically based on the traditional uh, uh, schema of uh, I am the advertising, the advertiser paying money to interrupt the user. Okay, uh, and with the advance of technology, users came to understand that they don't have to be interrupted. They can uh, they can block ads. They can, um, they can, you know, listen to music in iTunes rather than being interrupted in the radio or uh, even seeing uh, VOD movies and not being interrupted by um, commercials on, on TV. So um, more and more users started uh, consuming content in ways where uh, advertising is not interrupting them. Uh, media buyers to um, to produce content that readers like to read, mm -hmm. and we are there to um, uh, distribute this content and make it available for the readers. Uh -huh. So we take readers to content that they want to read. Mm -hmm. So I see that you have three segmented uh, customers. So you have a content consumer, content publisher, and media uh, buyers. So, and you also uh, have two products of Outbrain uh, Amplify and Outbrain Engage. So mm -hmm. how does it work? Like, according to the segmented market, how does it work? So, <clears throat> Outbrain Engage, that's putting 
that widget, that platform on your page um, and getting your readers engaged with your content or content outside of your site that is revenue generating for you. <clears throat> um, and that's, that's the engage. Uh, we have also in that um, uh, platform that we bought called Visual Revenue, for, uh, that's a platform for editors and home pages to optimize that. Um, and the idea is really to, uh, on, around the engage, engagement of the readers in your site. To amplify, that's the other side, that's what we talked about um, last question, uh, is the ability to take a piece of content and amplify it across the network. And as I mentioned before, the network is, is, is huge, so if someone wrote a story about your brand and it's a great story, um, it might have reached only a limited amount of people. Uh, and you can just amplify it and have it uh, get a bigger reach, a much bigger reach, as, as big as you want, because the network is so big. So that's the, that's the Amplify. Mm -hmm. So, as for now, uh, what dis distribution channels do you use? Uh, so, I'll bring these um, currently um, focused on, on publishers, uh, web publishers, newspapers, local newspapers, um, blogs. blogs and TV, TV networks that have their online sites. Uh -huh. uh, and through them we, we give uh, the, their audiences uh, to access uh, content through uh, basically every platform, which mm -hmm. means recommendations for their videos, recommendations um, on uh, uh, mobile, tablets, apps, mm -hmm. emails, whatever they, uh, they choose to run. Mm -hmm. So what is the competitor advantage that you have uh, other than other competitors? Um, yeah. I, I think uh, uh, part of what Outbrain is uh, is very keen to and uh, and very uh, uh, specialize on is the quality of the content. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, we we acknowledge that uh, uh, either brand publishers or uh, brand uh, marketers uh, appreciate. Uh, the the value of the content that uh, we serve as as recommendations, it helps them keep the publisher tone, and um, it helps them uh, also uh, for for other brands or uh, brand marketers don't like their uh, their uh, link or ad or whatever. Being uh, associated with other, you know, uh, other sleazy stuff that mm -hmm. uh, is all around competition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what do you think is the key resource that you have right now? First of all, we're focused, so we have a lot of opportunities to do many things uh, at this scale. But we're focused um, from day one. We're focused on what we want to do. Um, I think it's a combination of. of First of all, improving, always thinking of how to improve the recommendations and make them even better. Um, and that's always a focus. And we have a big team of algorithms, uh, al um, algorithm people here in R&D that are working around that. And that's one goal, to always improve recommendations and make them better and more interesting. Um, of course, we want to grow the relationships that we do have right now. And we want to bring in new uh, business as well. So it's... Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, but it's not, it's, I wouldn't say it's new, changing, pivoting to other places and stuff like that. It's all around helping readers find interesting content. And that's, that's the lighthouse and everything we do will be around helping readers finding interesting content. Mm -hmm. So how does the revenue model work? So as we mentioned before, uh, a publisher puts our recommendations on its pages. Uh, some of the recommendations point back into that publisher's site, to that, his content, um, and that drives some uh, uh, just traffic, a nice uh, traffic lift. And then there are recommendations that go to third-party sites like brands or other publishers. A, pu a brand decides to uh, amplify its content, 
comes to us, gives us a budget, decides on how much he's willing to pay per click, what's his CPC. We show his content across our network. Someone clicked, let's say, on a link that sits in CNN uh, of a brand. That brand pays us, and we share with CNN the revenue. Uh -huh. so. Wow, that's a really clear explanation. So, how many users do you have for now? Based on Comscore, um, so we're the third biggest um, network, network uh, in the U.S. We reach around 86-87% of the U.S. population. Uh -huh. So it's head-to-head uh, -head with Google and Facebook yes. on reach. Um, and over 390 million across the world unique users that are using Outbrain and clicking our recommendations. Um, and as I said, it's uh, a lot of uh, were installed on many uh, sites, uh, serve uh, over 130 billion recommendations, so it's, uh, it's a big, uh, big network. Uh -huh. So what is the vision of Outbrain? Yeah, so Outbrain, as we said before, um, Outbrain has what's called the lighthouse. The lighthouse is the one that always shows us what, uh, what the vision is. And uh, our lighthouse is to help users discover interesting content uh, wherever they are, whatever content uh, there is. Everything that uh, Outbrain will do, did and will do in the future is, uh, is around helping, uh, helping people discover great content. Mm -hmm. So, Ethan, as you are uh, managing the director of Asia Market, what, how is the current situation of going Asia Market? So, first of all, we have uh, an office in Singapore uh -huh. covering Southeast Asia and India. Uh, we have an office in uh, Sydney, in Australia, covering Australia and New Zealand. We're opening now another office closer to Korea, not yet there. Mm -hmm. um, and Korea is definitely a very interesting market from all the data that we're and all the research that we're doing. Korea is probably one of the next markets we want to check and hopefully establish a, an office in and, and start operating in. Wow, that's wonderful. Uh, so, is there any message that you'd like to transfer to Korean audience who will be watching the video? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I hope to see all of you soon, all the audience, because uh, we're really we're planning to expand, and you know I'm hoping that Korea will come very soon. So um, and in the meantime, enjoy the recommendations on other side, and maybe a message to you: uh, put Outbrain on your blog. It will uh -huh. help uh, get more readers on your uh, on your blog. Great, uh huh. That's a good <laughs> suggestion, actually. Uh -huh. And also. Um, there, I heard a rumor about Outbrain going LP, IPO, so what do you say about it? Rumors are rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Outbrain, is, um, Outbrain is, is growing and yes. developing. Uh, we're um, definitely at, uh, at the size and volume where we, uh, we think we're eligible for. Uh, mm -hmm. For uh, IPO, but uh, we are IPOing is a, it's a long process it, that uh, you need to be prepared for, and we're looking to be prepared. And uh, if there will be the right time to do it, uh, we we might uh, we might take the opportunity. Okay, I heard there uh, you recently received thirty-five million dollars of Series. E, right? Mm -hmm. The same amount in Series D, so that was like kind of interesting. So, uh, hope you good luck in Alfred and we'll see how it goes, right? Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.